since the city passed its new ordinances, it's kind of becoming an annual ritual now. Parks and Parkways comes through, people pick up their tarps, and guess what happens after the trucks go through? We won't be a problem. We'll get right back into the spot after they're done. Ben Schwartz apparently drew the short straw. The overnight shift staking out a spot along the parade route for him and his friends. Historically, it's what you do. Parade goers using tarps and tents and ladders to homestead a spot along the uptown route for the mystic crews of Druids and Nicks coming up tonight. Right now our game plan is to pack everything up and move it to that side of the street. Once the city finishes, we'll move it right back. But folks were scrambling around 8 o'clock this morning as city crews and parks and parkway trucks came rumbling up St. Charles Avenue, snarfing up tarps and tents and everything else, loading them up in big plastic bags, tossing them into the trucks. For many who'd posted watch on their piece of ground, they were given a little time to pack up, but still a bit aggravated. They gave you an hour to get mm -hmm. to do what? Uh, just to basically pick everything up or they're going to throw it out. Period. Yes. Not Are you not not too happy about this. <laughs> we have a four hour before and a four hour after. Uh -huh. and apparently I didn't pay attention. Most folks already know the new rules. Ladders must be at least six feet from the curb, no enclosed tents, and personal items. Ladders, tents, tarps, grills cannot be placed on the neutral ground earlier than four hours before the start of the parade. So let's wait for the city to roll through early and then they just go back and put their stuff back out there. So the cat and mouse game goes on. Yes. Squeak. <laughs> so basically the rule is four hours before the parade starts, you can put your tarps out, you can put your stuff out. You can bet even now people will be fudging just a little bit. Guys, back to you.